Hello everyone, Nathan here, aka Outraged Human, with Ubic videos for the Pyrus Escher airdrop claim video. So I've got another video out regarding the Fusion airdrop for claiming your Escher tokens using the Fusion wallet. But this video is going to be for claiming the Escher airdrop tokens using the Pyrus wallet. So the first thing we want to do is go to pyrus.ubixmart.com like this. And this is going to put us on this new wallet page to start with. So we don't want to create a new wallet. We actually want to open an existing wallet. So we're going to create or we're going to uh, access send ubic and tokens by clicking the send ubic and token tab right here. And for this video, I'm going to show how to do it with a key store file. Um, and I'll also kind of explain how to do it from a ledger wallet so that people using both of those can do it. The process is going to be very similar between key store, ledger wallet and treasure wallet. So it should be pretty simple to figure out how to use whichever wallet that you're going to be accessing. So for the Keystore wallet, we're going to click on the radio button here for Keystore wallet. It's going to bring up a select your wallet file menu over here. We're going to click select wallet file. And from here, there could be a couple of different ways that you have to do this. Uh, if you've installed Fusion with the default settings, what you're going to want to do is click on that URL bar at the top that's highlighted and type in percent app data percent just like that and then hit enter and that's going to take us to app data roaming for your username so my username is tutorials and it's going to dump us into app data roaming from there if you've installed the fusion wallet using the default settings you should have a folder called ubic just like this and if we double click on that there's going to be a key store folder right here and this file right here is the the wallet file if you will uh, it's going to have a big long name that starts with utc like we see here this string right here is going to be the actual address for that wallet and then this is just information about when you created it uh, if you've created multiple accounts or multiple wallets within the fusion uh, software itself then you're going to see multiple files in here. If you want to claim Asher for each one of those wallets, you're going to have to do this process for each one of them. And it's, uh, it's going to cost you a little bit of gas, but it's a very, very minimal amount. I believe it's something like 0.0004 Ubic uh, per interaction with the contract. So it's a very negligible amount, and uh, I would definitely recommend that you do it for each one of your wallets that has any sort of a balance in it. So from here, we're just going to pick this one wallet that I've got. It's got about 88 Ubic in it, and I'm going to click Open. It's going to pop up this password field, and I'm going to type in my password. Uh, the password for this is really short, just for demonstrational purposes but I recommend you have these wallets secured with a very long and strong password to make sure that nobody can crack into them. So once you've typed in your password, you're going to see an unlock your wallet section over here with an unlock button. We're going to click on that. Give it a little bit time, a little bit of time to verify the password. And now we're into the wallet. I'm going to click never on this because I don't want it to remember my, pa my password for this. All right, so we've got an account address right here. This is the same address that we saw in that file name. And we can see it's got about 88 Ubic in it. I started with 88 Ubic, but I did another video earlier on how to do the Fusion uh, wallet version of this Escher airdrop claim. So that consumed a small portion of gas, which is why this uh, doesn't quite have 88 in it anymore. So from here, once we got logged into this page, once we get logged into this page, we want to go to the Escher Airdrops website, which is ubixmart.com/escher. 
which is going to take you right here to this dashboard. And we want to click on these little dots in a circle right here and go to AirDrop 1. Now this video is for AirDrop 1. Uh, if you're watching this video and participating in one of the other AirDrops, there's probably going to be AirDrop 2, AirDrop 3, AirDrop 4, etc. in this menu. Just click the one that's appropriate to the AirDrop that you are participating in currently. So let's click on AirDrop 1. That's going to take us to this page. And we want to click on the Pyrus tab right here. It should be selected by default, but go ahead and select it if not. And let's just scroll down a little bit here. And so it wants us to go to the contracts page in Pyrus. So we want to switch back over to our Pyrus web page and go to contracts. And it's saying that we want to interact with a contract or deploy a contract. So we want to select an existing contract, which is airdrop one right here. And again, if you're participating in one of the other airdrops, then there's probably going to be additional list items in here, or it's going to have a different airdrop number than you see here, and this contract address will be slightly different. So go ahead and select the appropriate airdrop that you're participating in by left clicking on it, just like that. It's going to populate the contract address and the JSON interface automatically, so you don't need to worry about those. This is all going to be input by the website. And then you're going to click on access. And now we see read write contract. So let's just go back to the Escher airdrops page and I'll show you what the next steps are. So it's telling us to input this information, but since this website came out, there's been a couple of changes to Pyrus to where it's got those drop down menus automatically. And we we've already collect uh, clicked on press access here. So we're at select function claim. So we're going to go back to Pyrus and we're going to select a function and we want to select claim right here. So because I already uh, entered my wallet address under or wallet information under send Ubic and tokens, we have to do it again now that I'm on the contracts page. So you actually want to click on contracts right away. So now that it's asking us this, we're going to click on key store again, select wallet file, Pick our wallet file once again from app data roaming ubic key store and click open it's going to ask us our password again we're going to type that in click unlock give it a moment to process that and now we're in so the only option here is to click write and if you go back to the Azure AirDrop page, you can see that after you select the function, you can select send the transaction. So that's what write means. And we're going to go back to Pyrus, click write. And it's telling us that we're about to execute a function on the contract on the Ubic chain. So this is where it was telling us to send zero Ubic. So if we go back to the AirDrop page, it says send the transaction send zero ubic any claims with more than zero ubic included will be rejected by the contract so it's just telling you not to send ubic to the contract itself because it's going to deny that transaction and refund you those coins so you want to make sure that when you are on this screen in pyrus that you leave this set to zero you can leave the gas limit where it's at that's automatically calculated and it should be a good value in order to get your transaction through and then we want to click on generate transaction and so now it's just telling us the details of the transaction that it created. And we want to click on, yes, I'm sure, make transaction. So it says here your transaction has been broadcast to the network and is waiting to be mined and confirmed. So now we just need to wait a little bit and we will be able to verify that we participated in the transact or in the contract successfully on the airdrop website. So let's just wait a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been a few minutes now. So what we want to do is we want to verify that we correctly participated in the airdrop and successfully sent our transaction to the contract. 
So what we want to do is we just need to get our address again. So there's a couple different ways to do this. We can either go to uh, open a file explorer and go back to app data or wherever you had your wallet stored. Go back into Ubic key store. Grab the address from right here. Control C on Windows to copy. And then we're going to go to Escher Airdrops and go to the Check Your Claim section here. So that's under the Airdrop 1. So you want to click on Airdrop 1. And then a little bit further down on the page is Check Your Claim. So all addresses start with 0x, lowercase x. And then we want to paste in that address that we just copied from the file name. We can click this little arrow here, which is going to tell us that the claim for that address was successfully received. The other way to grab the address is if you're in Pyrus, let's say you were using a ledger or a Trezor, for example, you would interact with the ledger or Trezor by, choo by choosing view wallet information either selecting key store, treasure, or ledger, and then uh, selecting the appropriate button. Since this one for, was for key store, I'm going to select that same wallet file once again. Type in my password again. Click on unlock. Wait for that to process for a couple seconds here. And then once this processes, in the top right here under account address we'll get our account now when you copy it from here it's going to have the 0x in the front already so you can just highlight it hit Control c to copy it go back to the escher airdrops website let me just delete this and then we can select this field and hit Control v to paste that in when we paste that in we can hit the little arrow key again and it says the claim for that address was received successfully. So once you've gotten to this stage, if you were using a key store file, then you, you're you done. You, you've already participated in the airdrop. Uh, you've successfully sent your transaction to the contract. The contract is now monitoring this address. And once the Ubic block 448,000 is reached, and this bar is all the way at the end, then any Ubic in that address at that time will be multiplied, multiplied by 12, and that will be the amount of Escher that you receive. So you want to keep whatever coins in that address that you want to claim in that address until block 448,000. If you want to add more to that address, you can do that. You don't have to come back here and claim again. You don't have to do anything with Pyrus to claim again. It's whatever amount is in that address at block 448,000. That number of Ubic times 12 will be the amount of, uh, of Escher that you receive from the airdrop. So let's go back to Pyrus and I just kind of want to demonstrate a little bit how you would do this if you were doing it from a ledger or a treasure. I don't currently have a ledger or a treasure connected uh, but you're going to do basically the same thing. You're going to click on contracts. You're going to select contract, select the airdrop number that you're going to be participating in. It's going to populate it automatically. Once again, you're going to click on access. You're going to click select a function. You want to click on claim. And then you're either going to select ledger. If you've got a ledger and at that point, you want to connect your ledger using the USB cable and click connect, connect to ledger wallet. Now in order to do this, you need to make sure that on the ledger you have uh, under the settings of the Ubic wallet that you have contract interaction set to yes or enabled. Uh, if you don't do that, then it's not going to recognize it or it's not going to allow you to participate in this. So go into your ledger settings, select that setting and set it to yes and then click connect to ledger wallet. Then you're going to get a little user interface that tells you which address you want to pick. 
once again if you've got multiple addresses and you've got funds in both uh, multiple addresses you're going to want to select each one and go through this process for the treasure you're going to do a very similar thing you're going to click on treasure you're going to hook your treasure up using the usb cable and you're going to click on connect to treasure once you do that if you've got multiple wallets again you're going to want to go through this process for each one of them and you're going to do the same thing that we did under the key store file you're going to hit write, and then you're going to let me just go back to key store here you won't have to click unlock if you choose a treasure or ledger uh, it's going to give you a pop-up that's a little bit different but it's going to give you the same next screen that you see Give it a moment to process that. All right, so it said our wallet was successfully decrypted and you're just gonna hit write once again. You wanna make sure that you send zero Ubic, just leave the gas limit as it is and click generate transaction. Now, if you're using the ledger or the trezor, once you click generate transaction, and you click on yes I'm sure make transaction then you're gonna get a little pop-up confirmation window on your ledger or your treasure treasure that you're gonna to have to select uh, to accept from the ledger or the treasure wallet itself from that device so when you click on yes make sure to look at your device and then follow the instructions on the device to confirm that transaction once you do that, it's going to give you the same little pop-up window down here, just like this. And you can click on view your transaction. It's going to take you to the block explorer. You can monitor the transaction from here. And again, you're going to have to wait a couple of minutes for that transaction to confirm before you can go ahead and move back to the Escher Airdrops website, type in your address, your wallet address here and click the little arrow symbol to make sure that it's verified. Now since I've already done it, when I click the arrow, it's gonna give me the receive successfully message here. If you do this too soon, it may say that, you know, it, it's gonna give you a red pop-up instead and it's gonna tell you that it couldn't be found. Uh, if, if you followed all of these instructions, that just means that you need to wait a little bit more time for that uh, transaction to confirm on the blockchain just come back here a little bit later and try again and it should give you that green message that it was successful once you've done this then you, you're all set same thing goes for the ledger or the treasure uh, whatever balance that's in that wallet address at the time that block 448,000 is hit on the ubic blockchain uh, that amount of ubic that you have in that address at that time is going to be multiplied by 12 and that's how much Escher you're going to get. So hopefully this was helpful. As I mentioned earlier, there's another video on how to do this from uh, the Fusion Wallet. I'll include a link to that video in the description of this video so you can check that out if needed. And I encourage you guys to join our Discord channel. I'll also include an invite link for the Discord channel in, in the video's description. And if you have any additional questions on how to participate in the Escher airdrop or any other questions about it, go ahead and jo join the Discord. We're very helpful and we can help you out in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy the Ubic governance system using Escher. Thank you.